Hello, gamers of the internet. We are back with Blood Wars. How's it going, everybody? It's been a while since we've got back on it. I say it's been a while a lot in a lot of these videos, don't yeah, I? It has, well, it, has, it has been a while. It's been like three weeks since we played this. Holy shit. Yeah. But then, I've been doing a bit of grinding while you were gone. I found out quite a few things in this new horrific terrifying world that we're coming to. <laughs> yeah. So, first things first. Uh, I upgraded my arcane to 15, and Ooh. how the fuck do I look at my shit again? Stats. There we go, look. Arcane, there it is. 15. Oh, nice. Basically, what you get when arcane goes 15 is that, you remember we got quite a few things that like, like weren't um, accessible to us? Like yeah. old hunter bone, empty phantasm shell, and beast yeah. roar. Well, check this out, my friend. If I go to beast roar, and tap the square button. Yeah, see that shit? Oh, awesome, right? What, what was that? It like... was a beast's roar. So basically, if I'm like surrounded by a bunch of assholes, I can literally just press square and oh, get so them off of me. Oh, so it's like a counter move. Oh, yeah. sick. It's sweet, right? The only thing is that it uses up Quicksilver, but it's... Oh, yeah, okay. And the beast roar uses up two. Okay. But there's good like last resort kind of thing. Yeah. And we've got other stuff as well. This one's awesome, old hunter bone. Yo, check this shit out. Shum, 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 shum. Look at that shit. Look at me, I'm fucking teleporting, flash stepping and stuff. That's awesome. Cool, right? Oh this my is God, my favourite one. That's really cool. It's wicked. The only thing is that it uses up four quicksilver bullets. Yeah. So it's definitely like a, well, like I said before, it's a, a last resort though, kind of thing, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, they're all kind of... And we've also got the empty phantasm shell, which basically gives magic to your weapon. Oh, right, okay. I still want to show it because it looks pretty cool. Ooh. Yeah, look. My sword blades were sparkly glowy. Sparkle, sparkle. Yeah, man. What, what, what? That's, that seems so unthreatening, though. Let <laughs> me just knock you out with the sparkles. You might just go out towards someone. Like, look at my sparkly <laughs> weapon. Oh, God, it hurts so much. <laughs> I use up three quicksilver bullets. So basically, yeah. the bone uses up four, the arcane phantasm shell uses three, and the raw uses two. I'm gonna keep the raw on. Just because I feel like, you know, it's a good thing to have when you're surrounded, which happens to me quite a bit. So I'm going to keep that equipped for now. Fair enough. Okay, and while you were gone, Ben, I also discovered quite a few more places as well. Oh. Now, are you ready to be mind fucked? Yeah, go on. So, oh, where is it? Damn it. I think it's this one here. Oh. There it is. Look at this. Right, so basically, you know that area where you, you roll about and, uh, pff, what am I saying? Everywhere you roll about. <laughs> There's a bit where you're really high up. Yeah. I think, I think it's in the, the tomb in the church. Oh, yeah. There's those bits where we have to jump down about killing And you ourselves. died about six times. Uh, yeah, good yeah, times, about, right? About one, yeah. Well, there was a door far off, and oh, I've been yeah. meaning to get to it ever since we kind of passed it to get to the bottom. Yeah. I reached it, and I went to this place. Oh. oh. Brace your mind, my new, friend. A new place. Brace yourself, because... Oh, a new place? Well, technically... Oh, oh I'm okay. I'm, no spoilers. Oh, I'm excited. Mm. Are you excited, audience? We're so excited. <laughs> That's exactly what they sound like. You all sound like chirping monkeys. <laughs> monkeys. Hey, don't sell our audience. I'm joking. <laughs> Children. It's mean. That's, that's also a <laughs> soul. <laughs> I'm joking. Ben, how dare you? I love you guys. I'm like, angry. You're lovely people. Oh, yeah. Check us out. <laughs> look, uh, look familiar to you. What? <laughs> Oh look! Wait, there what? happens to be a big chest over there too. Wait, wh what? What? Yeah. Wait, what the fuck? This is the hunter's dream no! in the real world. How can this be the hunter's dream? It is. I don't know, man, but it is. What? Literally, there's a door I went through. You know when I fell down in those places and went through the door? Yeah. It literally led me right through that bit and right, right into this freaky ass place. Look at this shit, man. Oh, it man. is the hunter's dream in real life. I don't know what the fuck it's about, I don't know what it entails, I don't know what it means, because Bloodborne doesn't tell you anything, but no, oh my god, does it not freak me out first time. Oh, fucking hell. Wait, is, is a guy in a wheelchair here? Guy in a wheelchair's not there, but she certainly is. What? Yeah, the doll's still there. Is she, does she say anything different? It's just an abandoned doll. But, before I left, I got something from this wardrobe over here. Yeah. And basically, oh, let's see if I can find it in my inventory. Uh, I think it was called a, like a ribbon, like a hair ribbon or something. Um, but all those little, um, 
um, those little spectres telling me to actually go to the door in the hunter's dream. Yeah. And apparently what I got does something. If I can only find it in here. So there we go, small hair ornament. I found that. So basically, when I picked that up, all these things are saying, oh, go with the, uh, go with the abandoned doll. Go yeah. see her in Hunter's Dream. Yeah. And there's loads of spectres. I'm not sure why they all died. I think they might have attacked the doll or something and just got, like, killed, killed by some unholy magic force or something. Wait, so did you give the... the I haven't done it yet, no. I thought I'd save it for when we did recording. Oh, let's do it. Let's but do it. Also, another thing I found over here, I found this really weird, really kind of freaky kind of key item. It's, uh, where is it? Uh, not that one. God, I still gotta find shit in these menus, man. Yeah, so much in where is it? <laughs> there it is. This thing. I found a third umbilical cord. What? What? Yeah. A great relic, also known as the Cord of the Eye. That's called oh. the third umbilical cord, so I have so a feeling there might there be more. Two more, yeah. Possibly, oh. yeah. Maybe there's five more, who knows? Oh. Who knows in this game, but... What does it do? No idea. All I know is that it's a key item. It uses Quicksilver bullets as well. It doesn't use any Quicksilver bullets. It it's Quicksil minus. Oh. It's got a minus, oh, that means right, it can't right, use right, it. Okay. But it definitely sounds quite important. I don't know what the hell it does, but we got it. Okay. So yeah. Let's go back to the hunter's dream and give this nice little ornament to the doll, shall no, we? No, so I fucked up with the weapon, man. You could just like whack someone with an <laughs> umbilical cord. Just whip no, people with a giant umbilical cord. Oh, That'd be fucking awesome. Fuck. The umbilical cord of a great one. Ah, oh. that sounds pretty awesome. That does sound. It sounds like a weapon that would be in the game, though. Yeah, definitely. Oh, oh, sex oh, whip. Over. Yeah, here we go. This is what I noticed when I talked to her before. I thought I'd save it for when you come back oh, because. Good. What? So thoughtful. What is this? I... I can't remember. Not a thing, only... You have a lovely I accent, feel a yearning, something I never felt before. Oh. <laughs> What's happening to me? You're falling in love with him. Tell me, Hunter. <laughs> oh. Could this be joy? Are you right? Sure. Because <laughs> she's just happy. Oh. She cried? Oh shit, does, does she cry like a tear stone? A tear stone? Oh shit. What's that? Welcome. What is I guess she was happy with what we gave her. Farewell, what is a tear stone? Let's oh. check it out. Uh, inventory. Is it a usable item or is it a key item? Here we go. Silver shining tear stone. Used to gain droplet blood gem. Oh, okay. In that case, let's use it. I've got the tear blood gem. Ooh, Ooh let's see what it does. Right, uh, blood gems upgrade your weapons again, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> That's right, yeah. Oh, God, it's, be it's been a while. Fuck me. Uh, let's just see. There we yeah, go. It what does it do? HP continues to recover. Ooh, that's actually really that's fucking so, good. That's so, but look what it drops, so, oh, it's such a drop. Mind you, it's not a crazy-ass drop. No, it's not super. It's better than nothing. Yeah. But to be honest, I might equip this with the saw cleaver. Just because I use the holy blade for attack yeah. more than the saw cleaver. Okay, yeah. So I think, fuck it, we'll do it. Alright. But I think I already have... Oh, I do. Yeah, I've got uh, space for it. Oh. So I could do it anyway. Oh, you've done it. Yeah, look at that. I have a fucking self-healing saw cleaver. That's wicked. Okay, this is like the ultimate versatile weapon now. That's <laughs> wicked. Oh, another thing I forgot to tell you guys. Um, you remember that guy way back in the day when we fought that hunter back on the tower? Yeah. And we and we uh, we couldn't get him. We couldn't kill him. We Don't tell him. me you killed him without me. I killed him, man. Oh. I, I did. I had to rematch him, man. It was oh. a duel of fates. Right. I didn't want to leave him waiting, All so right. I got a new weapon from him. What did you get? I got the rifle spear. Ooh. And the stake driver. Oh, that sounds amazing. They sound pretty cool. They look pretty cool as well. I'll show them off to you. So this is the rifle spear. Ooh. It's a gnaw blade and the stick, right? Yeah. And then you transform it. Oh, yeah. Oh, animation's sick, bro. Battle wax. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, and also, kaboom. You can fire like a shotgun as well. <laughs> yeah, the weapons in this game are no joke. That that reminds me of Ruby. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, I know what you mean. What, the show where, like, every weapon, like, <laughs> fires a gun, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, uh, if it's a weapon, it's going to shoot a gun. 
like her weapon, like the scythe is a gun as well, and mm. that. So it's like, oh god, like yeah. Now this weapon, I'm very interested. Oh in. my god, so is that like a harpoon? It's like a gauntlet with a harpoon attached to that it. That is so cool. Normal slicey attacks. Quite low, yeah. And but then you use L1. <gasps> oh. Yeah, you see that so shit? It drains all of your stamina though. Literally. But most of that hits someone, that would yeah, do so much fucking damage. Oh, that is a really cool weapon. Oh no, what are we gonna Boom. do? What are we gonna... What? I'm gonna stick with my sword cleaver. Yeah. Just because I'm so used to using it. Yeah. I don't really want to oh, like... tried and true. Yeah, I don't really want to use a weapon that I'm not used to this late in the game. Because yeah. I'm scared I'll just get my ass blown out straight away. <laughs> Plus, self sword cleaver heals me now, so yeah, that's, that's cool. So cool. And what else did I find during my travels? Oh yeah! I also found a really super secret place in the Forbidden Woods. Oh! Uh, I wonder if the teleport thing is here. It's not first floor sick room. It was, um... Second one, I think. Forbidden Woods? Forbidden Grave? No, not even there. I think I, I think I found a new torch. I can't remember. Uh... Oh, well anyway, we could just walk right in anyway. Right. This one I'm going to. So basically, I found a secret area in the forest. Yeah. And I had to go through like a big dark pit, all these really funky, weird, giant, gloobly monsters were trying to kill me. Mm. There's a big poison lake, but I got through it. Mm. And you remember the very first door that we couldn't get past? Yeah. Like, on well, the beginning, when we first actually started playing the game. Yeah. Well, I found a secret route into that said place. Ooh. I haven't gone into it though yet because obviously I want to do it with you. But, yeah. like,. I thought maybe we could explore it. Yeah, I found it. sounds good. And Let's do that then. I don't do it myself because it actually looks quite creepy and ominous. Oh. So you see this door up here, yeah? Are you scared of the dark, Joe? A little bit. It is quite a dark place. Couldn't get through there before, right? Yeah. But if we go down here, we'll find a way into said place. Ooh. Pretty cool, right? Right so, at yeah. the beginning part of the game. I guess you don't really think to go back to like the starting area, do you? No. Nah. But it led me all the way back here, so I thought, okay, oh. pretty new. Let's check it out. But that's everything I found so far in Bloodborne. Oh, what? Well, while you were well, while you were gone. Fair enough. Do another little resting session. You can call it that. <laughs> and like three weeks is quite a long rest. Yeah, but we had loads of parts though. So. So, it's down here through this gate. So that gate what I just went through wasn't openable before. No. But is now it, it is. Is it because the moon's like something? What the fuck is that? It might be. What the fuck is that? Oh, god. That is no damage to that thing. Yeah, it's just a strong fucker. I think it was that thing that one shot me back in the, um... Jesus Christ, Ludwig's so holy blade. Like... Can't go wrong with it, can you? No. <laughs> it was one of those things that killed me instantly. Back in the, uh, oh, what's it called? Bergenworth? Oh, yeah. That one that was behind the tree, it just yeah. randomly one shot me. It's one of those things. Wow. So I go up here, there's some arsehole ravens again. Slice and dice. Ow. How you been, man? You went off to uh, Ireland. I did. Yeah, I went to Dublin for a little bit. It was pretty good. It was alright. It was a good four days. I went for four days just because Dublin's a kind of place that you kind of well, you don't say you exhaust it for the past four days, but every night was drinking, dude. Oh my god. That's what you do in <laughs> Ireland, though, man. <laughs> no, man. But I went to drink for like a couple of days, and my friends were like, "Yeah, let's go to clubs and get wasted and blah blah blah." I'm like, "Oh yeah, sure. It sounds like fun, but getting wasted is is hard, man. Yeah, <laughs> it's a lot of effort. It's hard effort to get drunk all the time. Yeah. I don't know how a drunk does it. <laughs> I got thrown out of club as well. Oh what? Wait, how? What did you do? <laughs> okay, be okay. Be bear with me, right? <laughs> okay. Uh. Oh, it's kind of hard to tell the story when I'm in this new area. Oh, okay. We'll wait. We'll oh. hold it. All right, we'll hold it. All right. Oh. Give you a little taste of one of my wacky adventures in Dublin. <laughs> <laughs> this place is completely empty, man. Ah. Oh. I wonder if we can actually find the woman in here. What's her name? Iosefska. Is that her name? Oh, is that the one who gave you that really powerful potion? That's we right, yeah. That's her. Oh, here we go. Oh. You know you're in the right. I guess I am. 
so I must be in the right place, apparently. Right. Wait, was that a... Oh, no. Oh. No mercy for women. Okay. Oh, That's God. That's a bit uh, ominous. Oh, this game shit. doesn't like women, does it? She's bent over. The red woman behind you. Oh, God, no, don't say behind me. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Okay, get ready to roll. Get ready to roll. What the fuck is that thing? Hi, lady. Are you friend or fuck? Fuck. Is she the bent on the... Lies. Is she bent on the... Time for tastiness. A oh. wondrous time. Oh, 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 oh no, no! No! I'm fouling that <laughs> shit. <laughs> that is foulness in all of its entirety, you dirty motherfucker. Oh, that's so fucked up. Hello, lady. Talk to her from the front, please. Oh, my No. A big hand. Said I should kill her. Yeah. We killed that priest and got away a bit. Oh god, there's spectres here. Okay, how did you die? Oh, you thought things in here? <laughs> Maybe. Oh, and he's down. That's what we get for using the cane. Uh, no, kill her. You know what? <laughs> yeah, you're not in a good place, lady. I'm doing it. He's not going yet. Ooh. Oh, I got an item. Oh shit! Wait, what? Third umbilical cord! I already got a third umbilical cord. Wait! What? The fuck what is going does it on? Do? I don't know, there's two of them. You'd think it'd be called second or first, or even tenth, I don't fucking know. It must do something, it must be like a. a, a... You can use it. Oh god, I don't want to use it. Oh, don't I don't want to use no. key items anymore. No. Nah, uh, hold on to it. I feel it? like this is the kind of game where it'll give you an item to use, but it's more important, like, Not in the long to, run. Yeah. Maybe, yeah, I don't know. Probably. Some sort of trickery. So, yeah, we got a duplicate of the third umbilical cord. Not the second, not the first, but the third. <laughs> that's that's weird. Okay, I well... Guess, I guess that's this area. That's here in this area. Thank God this fucking area creeps me out. Oh, that was nasty. Why was she bent over like that? I don't know. Why did she make that weird laugh as well? <laughs> yeah, I wonder what she meant by like the shit in her head. I don't know if she was like coming to beasthood or if it was something else entirely. Maybe. She had like a massive hand, so maybe it was beasthood. I don't know. Ooh, a treasure chest. Oh. So uh, as you were saying about your communion. Ooh, I got a new uh, ruin. Ruin. That's the word. Still remembering all my shit from the last time we played again. Oh, this one here. Higher blood vial maximum. Oh, I can hold up yes. three. That's oh, pretty nice. good. What have I got at the moment? I've up got raised one. stamina. I've got more blood echoes. I've got more items for the enemies. Oh, okay. I can only um, change them at the hunter's workshop. Yeah. So, as you were saying, your Dublin event. Yeah, so basically, it was two o'clock in the morning. Right. Actually, no, no, it's a lie. It was. I can't remember. I was really drunk. I had like <laughs> seven pints of Guinness. <laughs> that's. I'm the biggest lightweight I know, guys, okay? Like, oh, I have like three pints and that's it. I'm done. But, <laughs> you know, because I was away with friends, I went a little bit over and I should have done. Yeah. Basically, it was like. I don't know. It was like 12 or some shit. I don't know. Oh, yeah. But it was me and three of my friends. And I just came out of the toilet. Yeah. And two of my friends were like, oh, um, um, Thingy has gone outside, the other friend. So I thought, oh, okay, I'll go check out, just check him out, see if he's alright. Because, you know, you check, you check on your friends. I'm a nice guy like that. Yeah. So I thought he was outside, went outside, he wasn't outside. Security guard saw me leave the club looking for him. Yeah. 
And that's why I was like, oh, okay, he's not in. I guess I'll go back inside. So I tried to go back inside. I was like, excuse me, mate. Can I go back inside? I thought my friend was outside, but he's not. Can I please go back in? My friend's told me he was outside. And that, just, that sounds that, as bad that, enough as it is, right? But like I was lie, pissed mate. out of my head. So I probably said something like... <laughs> tangible to what I just said then but obviously completely <laughs> different and the guy was like no laddie you need to go back outside and sober up in the corner of a half an hour and I was like what you fucking <laughs> that was the first night after that I woke up and I was like oh fuck what have I done never again ever since then the rest of the nights I just had water <laughs> like, in, in between my pints Guinness because that was a really bad night like, on the walk back as well, I was absolutely losing my shit. It was so oh. bad. I'm a really bad drunk, guys. I'm a really, like, kind of aggro, aggressive kind of drunk. I've never really seen you drunk. Other, no, no. You see me tipsy. Uh, well, I'm so tipsy, at I'm the happy. Party, I, at your house party that you had for your birthday, you were all right? Yeah, well, you, you know, I was surrounded by then. friends. I was drinking quite, you know, reasonably at the time. Ah, uh, you seem like you're a I was tipsy, drunk. man. When I'm tipsy, I'm alright. I just like yeah. to have fun and I love listening and yeah. talking and, you know, like every yeah. drunk person does in the world. But when I've had a few, that's when I get really aggro. So, yeah. <laughs> and don't even get me on spirits, man. Oh, man. If you get me on spirits, you're going to have a bad time and I'm going to have a bad time. <laughs> so, if I can do it, man, it's not good. Oh, yeah. shit, we hit the 21 minute mark. Ah, uh, it's alright. Oh, we'll go no. for 30. We'll go for we'll 30. 30. Yeah. Oh, alright. Because we technically haven't really progressed a lot, we no. will we'll make this we'll make this part long, especially for you guys, because you're awesome. <laughs> Alright. And there was one other thing I discovered, but I can't put my finger on it. Oh yeah. Um so you remember Kovia, right? Yeah. Our faithful commenter. Yes. He told us to go back to remember that big black hole in the um old Yarnum? Yes. I went there. Yeah. Got teleported. Yes. It was actually one of the great ones in disguise. <gasps> But I think what it was, was that we couldn't see it. It was invisible. Right. But now the red moon is out. Yeah. They have now appeared. They're now visible. Okay. And it teleported me to a DLC level. Which oh. is weird. But I'm thinking, what if, like, we get caught by another one? Yeah. And it transports us somewhere completely different. Oh, I know. I'm just kind of reaching here. I know we've got to get past the, um... Oh, what's it called? Uh, Hy Hypogeon Gal. No, not sorry, not that. We can't go there. The Unseen Village. We've got to go through the Unseen Village. Oh, okay. But I was thinking, you know the very first one that we see? Yeah. What if we get caught by that on purpose? And well, like, take... see what happens. Yeah, you know. Or not even that one. Just like, I don't know, anyone, to be honest. All right, let's do it. Let's, yeah. Let's, let's, let's do it. Let's see where it takes us. Uh, right. I believe the route there was out, was the Grand Cathedral. I, oh yeah, of course we can't go there because the Raven Hunter's there. Remember oh, her? Oh yeah. Oh Jesus. Oh, where do we go? All right, tell you what, guys, we'll cut because I have a feeling this might be a long time. Right. Because okay. I don't know where the hell I'm going. It's been three weeks. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. And we're back. Welcome back. Oh God. So look at this big fucker here. Oh. I'm curious. I want to know where this guy's gonna take me. It might even teleport me right back to the same place. Oh man. But we woke up here, and this guy's up there. Oh, God. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Oh, you, uh... Fuck, yeah. Like tentacles? That's a uh, nice fingernails you got. Yeah. Oh, oh. Hey, man. Oh, kill me. <laughs> oh, Amidala. Oh, Amidala. <laughs> Have mercy on the poor bastard. <laughs> What's going on, Joe? Uh, what the fuck? Where the fuck have you taken us? I don't know. I was just curious. Oh, no. I know we get a cutscene out of it. Oh shit! Lecture building. Oh god! Oh god, I got a trophy. Oh no! Hey, it's a silver nightmare lecture building. Where the fuck are we? Oh fuck! Okay, this might be a good stopping point. I think. <laughs> oh, <geez>. All <laughs> Sorry, right, guys. Okay, next part. What lies beyond this door? Ooh, a lantern. Oh, thank you. I'll get the lantern. What are we going to get behind this door, guys? I am fucking terrified of shit. Oh, shit. Actually, do you know what? Let's open the door and then we'll cut. Okay. Because let's not be these guys who are like, oh, like, oh, yeah. yeah, let's not, this is cliffhanger. Oh. We're not going to tell you what it is until next time. Okay. We'll give you a sneak peek when we'll cut. Oh. <laughs> it's just another room. <laughs> well, I guess we are going to be those arseholes. <laughs>